Thanks again for tuning into Moonshine Gaming. Today we're going to be discussing the top 5 rarest and most expensive Nintendo 3DS games. Now, as per usual, we do have a couple parameters we're going to be following for this list. We won't be including any collector's editions, big box editions, case variants, or not for resale cartridges. We will be using North American complete in box pricing for the prices on this list. So what that means is that the game box, instruction manual, and game cartridge are going to be included for all the prices on this list. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we've got Yokai Watch 3. This is a Japanese RPG that was released in North America in early 2019. There were three versions of the game released in Japan, and rather than attempting to do this in North America, they decided to combine all three versions into one single release. The game follows the interconnected stories of two protagonists who both possess watches allowing them to see, befriend, and summon Japanese mythical spirits called Yokai. The game plays relatively similar to Pokemon, but with a more unique battle system. Yokai Watch 3 mixes up the combat system from the previous entries in the series by introducing a 3x3 grid on each side of the battle. Players can still have up to three Yokai Yokai active, with another three in reserve and ready to swap in, who will do regular actions such as attacking or healing in real time on their own accord. Players can move their yokai around the grid, which may grant benefits such as having one yokai protecting another or yokai backing up each other's attacks. The battle system works, but it can feel a bit tedious at times. Fortunately, the boss battles make up for this. The music and sound design are great, with lots of catchy tunes that really capture the vibe in various situations. The Yokai Watch 3's improved battle system, solid presentation, and quirky characters make this a great RPG for newcomers and veterans of the genre, with a little something for everyone. The current market value of this game is $171. <laughs> Next up, we've got Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. This is a crossover adventure puzzle game jointly developed by Level 5 and Capcom that released in 2014. It acts as the seventh installment of the Ace Attorney series and the sixth installment of the Professor Layton series. It takes place in a strange medieval style city in a different world from their own that has recently been falling victim to a number of seemingly impossible occurrences. The town is controlled by a sinister individual known only as the Storyteller. Professor Layton has to solve the mysteries of the strange world, while Phoenix Wright participates in witch trials, which are similar to court trials in the Ace Attorney series, to prove the innocence of his client. Playing Leighton vs. Wright is about 60% reading, 10% wandering around looking for the right person to talk to to advance the plot, 15% solving math, logic, and word puzzles, and 15% drama-filled trials where your job is to find the holes in witness testimony and present evidence to highlight contradictions. Unlike many other crossover games, which may just feel more like a money grab than anything, this one feels surprisingly natural. The only downside I really found was how easy the puzzles were at times. All in all, the crossover is an extremely satisfying pairing of the puzzle solving and courtroom twists from the two series. The game's high production value adds charm and character to the experience, and the compelling storyline and animation make up for the dialogue that might linger a little too long and puzzles that might speed by a little too quickly. The current market value of this game is $208. Blimey, this is going to be a tough nut to crack. Hmm. Next up, we've got Alien Chaos 3D which ironically is a 2D arena shooter that was released in 2012. The game starts with characters named Really Shooter and Poor Mama, and they're cleaning, until UFOs show up. You take control of the character Really, and you use different weapons to take down alien enemies. As you destroy enemies, scrap metal and bullet shells begin to pile up, and you can push that scrap metal to the sides of the stage where a recycling bank is located. You can convert the junk into either ammunition or other weapon types. The main goal of the frantic gameplay is pretty much to just survive. The controls are simple enough, and it feels like your classic 2D shooter. There are really only two game modes in this game, Story and Challenge, and my favorite part of the Challenge mode was the Endless Disagreement section, where you have to survive a never-ending onslaught of enemies with only one piece of health. And let me tell you, this mode is freaking hard. It's too bad that the game doesn't have any other game modes or a multiplayer option, because I think both of those things would have worked really well. If you're after a quick and action-packed experience on your 3DS, then Alien Chaos 3D is a good choice. The fast and chaotic game 
gameplay is fun and challenging throughout, thanks to the crazy and chaotic amount of enemies on screen at the same time. Also, the unique cleaning feature adds a wacky but worthwhile element to the game. Unfortunately, because of the game's limited game modes and the absence of multiplayer, results in an experience that's kind of lacking in replay value. The current market value for this game is $276. Now for a quick word from the sponsor of this video, me. I'm actually live streaming over on Twitch again, so if you're interested in watching retro gaming playthroughs and becoming part of the Moonshine Gaming streaming community, you can check us out at the link up here, or you can look up the username Moonshine Gaming 88 on Twitch. Also, if you want to give your input on what games you want to see on stream, you can follow us on Discord and that will be linked below. Back to the list. Next up, we've got Guide Louvre. I'll start by saying that I'm making an exception to the rules to add this one to the list, as it wasn't technically released physically in North America, although there was a physical English version of the game released in Europe. This is a software and a guide to the Louvre Museum in Paris that was released in 2013. The software provides a range of options to cater your virtual Louvre experience, with the most structured and easy to use being the pre-set up tours in the Visit the Louvre section. They're time to roughly reflect the actual tours of the exhibits, with the Masterpieces tour coming in at about 50 minutes and likely to be an early choice for many. It takes the iconic artwork such as the Venus de Milo, I don't know if I pronounced that right, or Venus de Milo, I'm not sure, and the Mona Lisa. A notable example of those with young enthusiasts is the 90 minute family tour, The Ancient Egyptians, which adopts a more playful style of commentary, including brief bursts and sound effects and music, as well as four simple and educational mini games. There's also a free exploration mode, which allows you to simply roam and just take in the sights. Lastly, there's a build a trail mode where you can pick out your favorite pieces of the museum and the software will essentially set up a mini tour for you. I'm sure this will only appeal to a very small portion of 3DS users, but it could be interesting for fans of arts and provide a unique experience that you wouldn't normally find on the 3DS. The current market value of this game is $287. You've now reached the first masterpiece on our tour, the Venus de Milo. Unlike the other statues in the gallery, this is an authentic Greek sculpture. Next up, number one, Barbie Groom and Glam Pups. This is a virtual pet game that was released in 2013. According to Nintendo, in the game you will groom, train, dress, and show puppies in a high fashion game environment under the watchful eye of your in-game mentor, Barbie. The game features six available breeds of dog in puppy form, selected for use in the game based on their popularity and dramatic styling potential. This game's clearly geared towards a younger audience and plays out similar to a Nintendogs Tamagotchi hybrid with a strong dress up and fashion aspect to it. It was originally made for the Wii and DS, where it sold decently, but when it was released on the 3DS, it did not sell well at all. There are some rumors that most copies of the game were actually destroyed by the publisher after the game's sold extremely poorly, but this is unconfirmed. I scoured the interwebs for a while and I couldn't find a single review on this version of the game, but I find it hard to believe that it would be worth the current market value. That being said, the current market value of this game is $1,155. Were you surprised by any of the games on the list? Let us know below. And also, if you have any ideas for future top 10s or videos, you can let us know down in the comments as well. We'll see you next time.